Last week, I covered the Erling Braut Hartland to Manchester United transfer story in a full story look at everything that's happened so far. And if you haven't watched that, click the card in the corner, make sure you go and watch it. But so much has happened with Haaland's potential move to United in the last 72 hours that we need to do an exciting update on that transfer. So before we do begin, make sure you like this video, come on, and sub to United People's TV if you're new. But let's talk about Haaland. Now, the first piece of news last week wasn't actually good news for United fans. Reports suggested that Haaland had flown to Germany to meet representatives of both RB Leipzig and Dortmund. And these reports were confirmed by Red Bull Salzburg sporting director Christoph Freund. Speaking in a press conference, Christoph said we are involved in all discussions. Of course, we also knew that Haaland was in Leipzig and Dortmund yesterday. Everybody in Salzburg wants the best for him. Now, given that Leipzig and Salzburg are both underneath the Red Bull umbrella, it's not that good news to hear that he's flown out there to see them because they're obviously going to have stronger tyres than any other clubs that Haaland could potentially move towards. But then some more real momentum went behind his potential move to United and it came from VG in Norway, a sports newspaper. They reported that Solskjaer did not attend training on Friday morning with United and actually travelled to Salzburg to meet with Haaland and his representatives to discuss a transfer to Old Trafford. Well, if that actually did happen, it would be massive news for United. And as is the case in the transfer window, silly things happen and flight plans get looked at. And somebody, a quick detective, found out that there was a flight leaving from Manchester to Salzburg early on Friday morning, then back to Manchester and then to Stavanger in Norway, which is close to where Haaland's family are from. As I said, it would be massive news, but there's a big problem. Solskjaer had his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton on Friday morning. So unless he was in two places at once, he couldn't have gone on that flight, surely. Was the press conference held at a different time? Were the reports false? Did he actually go? David Ornstein says he did. Ornstein, who is considered one of the most reliable sources when it comes to transfer news, writing for The Athletic, said that Solskjaer did travel to Austria on Friday and so did Ed Woodward, and that Man United are in talks right now with Red Bull Salzburg over a move for Haaland. So Ornstein there backing up reports from VG in Norway that Solskjaer did indeed travel to Austria on Friday. And then Solskjaer was asked directly about the Haaland transfer, and this is what his reaction was. Is it, what can you say about your trip to Salzburg on, on Friday? I don't comment on them speculations. Uh, and. Uh, so that's it. Any advice for Erling in Janice? No, he knows what he wants to do and he, he knows what he's going to do. So I, can't, I don't have to give any advice to any other team's players. Solskjaer there trying not to give too much away, but I like the cheeky grin on his face. And for me, that says a lot. United are clearly in for Haaland, but I don't expect us to be the only club. But in terms of the development of the transfer over the last few days, reports emerged in Norway that Solskjaer had flown to Austria to meet Harden's representatives. Those reports are backed up on Monday by David Ornstein, who says that not only did Solskjaer fly out there, but so did Woodward. And Solskjaer was then asked directly about the transfer. So it's all starting to get very exciting for United fans. Now, Erling Braut Hartland won't potentially play a game again for Salzburg because he didn't feature this weekend and that was planned for Salzburg. And they've now got a two month break in the Austrian Bundesliga. So there's every chance that he has played his last game for Salzburg and that maybe his next game will be in a United shirt. Now, as a quick note on Raiola, I know a lot of you are worried about the fact that he could be and probably would be involved in this transfer and reports suggest that he wants Haaland to move to someone like Dortmund or Leipzig before that big jump to a club like United. And I've said it before and I explained it properly in the last video, Raiola is not his agent. His father is his main agent. Raiola is simply an advisor and was part of the deal that took him to Salzburg from Mulder in the first place. But he's not in control of him like he was of Ibrahimovic or Mkhitaryan or Pogba. He's simply an advisor. Now, he might advise him with the wrong ideas, but his father will make sure that the best things happen for his son. So I don't think Raiola is as much to worry about as some people are suggesting. And the next question to ask, is Haaland somebody that we should all get excited about? Yes, he scored like 28 goals in 22 games, but he's only 19. 
Can he really transform this United attack? I'll tell you the reason I'm excited. Anthony Martial, Dan James, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford, all exciting attackers in their own right. They can all play in multiple positions. None of them really have a set position. Maybe Rashford on the left wing, you would say, is his best spot. But the others are versatile. Haaland isn't. And I say that in a good way. This guy is a natural-born goal scorer. The 18-yard box is his home on the pitch. He is a number nine, out-and-out -out striker. And that is what United need. I've seen, it must have been five, six, seven more occasions this season from Dan James when he's whipped in a very good cross that Rashford isn't there for or Martial isn't there for because Martial's dropped a little bit too deep. Rashford's trying to play out wide and Dan James is just too damn fast for his teammates. Someone like Haaland can change that and give United attack a completely different dynamic with somebody who will score the sorts of goals that Solskjaer made his bread and butter. The tappings, the scrappy ones, scoring with any body part goals inside the six yard box. We don't have that at the moment. We score great goals, but we don't have a, a striker in that team that we can say, he's going to get 20 goals that year. And you look at Liverpool, you look at City, you look at Spurs, maybe Abraham at Chelsea now. You need that if you're going to be challenging for anything. And Haaland could hopefully become that player. But because he's such a specialist as a striker, and he's massive as well, and he's got pace too, He's in a very exciting prospect, and that is why I am excited about the idea of United signing him. We'd have a proper striker again. And I didn't think Lukaku was a proper striker in the sense that he was... I just didn't like his style of play. Alexis Sanchez, I hoped, could have been that player, but we didn't get the Sanchez we thought we were going to sign. Haaland can be that player. But let me know what you think about these latest transfer updates on Haaland. It sounds like Solskjaer was in Austria on Friday. United are considered the front runners to sign him. And if we can push ahead with this and maybe secure Haaland early in the January transfer window rather than letting it drag on, maybe we'll have enough time in January to actually go out and get the creative midfielder that could change our fortunes. I don't think Haaland is going to be the player that comes in and transforms this team straight away in attack. But we need a new striker. That's what he is. The player who can do that is either going to be Paul Pogba returning from injury or a new creative midfielder coming in and providing the playmaking from deep. That's what we need, but we certainly need Haaland too. Let me know what you think about Haaland to United. How excited are you? What would be your potential starting eleven? Definitely going to do a video on that, including Haaland and maybe some other creative midfielders. But if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below. Drop a like on the video. Until next time, take it easy.